onions, onions, onions. Lots of weeds. Let me pull these weeds out. Get down to the bottom. This is an onion that I bought from the store and I cut off everything I needed but I saved the roots and I kept it in the dirt. I don't really use this for food. I just like the green decor. You know, I like to have those leaves. Um, but I did hear from another YouTube channel that I follow that it's okay to use them. So what happened was that I cut it and I put it in a cup of water and it got moldy and rotty looking. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't eat from that. But apparently I still can. So I'm going to just start chopping from it actually and using it. Um, so yeah, I have some leeks in the house that I also did the same thing with and they grew up so much. I can add some photos in a little bit probably, but yeah, I've had these onions for at least a year. Again, I don't eat from it, but I think I'm going to plan to soon. Excuse me, excuse me girl, excuse me. Okay, let's move this around. My neighbor seemed to be doing some work. That is looking better already. Now these weeds are robbing this plant of nutrients, so we're just gonna clear it on out as best we can. I have some other stuff I need to weed as well. This is just growing in a pot. I had this around my yard, it kind of is like de decoration, just because it's nice to see green in there. All right, I'm not gonna agitate the center. Well, maybe I can, maybe I can get in there. This is, look at that, just broke off. It's all good. Maybe I should break all the rest of these off, yeah. Coming off nicely. I see some new life right in here. Wait, there we go, right in there. Usually if I cut, I cut the short, the longest one and leave just a little bit of green so that it can photosynthesize and continue to grow. Oh, there we are getting right in there. Doesn't that look better? Usually what I also do is I pull this off coming straight up if you pull down it can tear the rest of the skin and we don't want that so this I would cut just for the sake of cutting it um, again I have not really done much in this garden but I also use onions around the parameter of my vegetable garden so that um, it will it will keep the pest away so there's that And this is a raspberry plant that I actually cut. So this is a weed. Gotta be careful because that is right there is a raspberry root. Not the root, but a cane coming up. Right out of there. Looks like there's some grass growing in here too. Don't know how the grass got in here, but I do use compost and I throw grass in my compost so this could be how it got there but I do recommend weeding often and my new garden hopefully I won't have to do that because I used a no-till technique and uh, I didn't pull out the weeds or anything so the seeds wouldn't be germinating I just covered them up so the sun would kill it off, I mean the uh, darkness would kill it off and it wouldn't have any um, sunlight to photosynthesize. So yeah, these raspberries are so spiky, look at them. That is it, I don't know what that is, I think it's a seed of some flower, so I'm going to leave it, maybe it'll grow. Um, 
this is just always what this I think this used to be a um some type of flower I don't know but I also like this kind of grass I did put this in here intentionally it was kind of like it's soft and everything so I just like that green effect I think I'll pull the bigger ones out and yeah I love gardening it's like so addictive to me all right thank you for watching this is my weeding episode Gotta get everything out, right? Bye.